Hello? I'm going to show you how to get an 800 number that automatically goes to voicemail after hours. Me Toll Free is a standalone website, but it's also a Facebook app, which makes it easier to access the website because you don't have to sign up and you don't have to log in. That all happens for you automatically through Facebook. The address is apps.facebook.com slash me toll free. The first thing you do when you connect, after allowing, obviously, is to select a toll-free number for yourself. You can choose from a list of 866 numbers here, which are toll-free, or you can choose from a list of local numbers in your area. You can see there's Tampa Bay. Or if you have reserved a vanity or an 800 number with us, you type it in here. MeToll-free.com is also a website, and since the site actually works better directly, the rest of the tutorial will be actually using the site rather than the Facebook app. That is me toll free dot com. Now even when you're accessing the site directly, you can still log in automatically using Facebook. And in fact, if you are currently logged into Facebook, it will log you right in automatically. If you're not logged into Facebook, or if you haven't yet chosen to do so, you can log in using your Facebook ID, which bypasses the sign-up process and makes it very, very easy to start using the site right away. All you do is click on the Log Into Facebook button, and your Facebook login prompt will pop up, and you simply log in using your Facebook ID. Everything on the site is then created for you automatically, and there's nothing else for you to do to become a member. If you are not a Facebook user, or if you do not want to use your Facebook ID to log in, you can simply sign up for an account on the website just like you would on any membership website. You'll be required to enter in the little CAPTCHA thing, and you'll be required to reply to an email. The first time you log into the site, you'll see a couple of things. First, there's some menus down the side here. Then there's a message inside a green box, and there's a message telling you that you must select a phone number to manage. Messages appearing in the green box are important little updates for you, um, notifications of activity and other things. When you first log in, it's telling you that you've got some robo-dial settings that have been created, and it's also saying congratulations, a, a new account has been activated for you with 250 free calling credit points. When you do different things, points are deducted from your credit account, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but you start out with 250 free points to try out the system. Sometimes the messages that appear in the green box here may seem a little cryptic, uh, but those are for the operation of the phone system and the transfer of files and other things, and we'll, we'll see more about that later. But nothing's going to happen until you actually pick a phone number, which you do here under the first link that's available in the status box. We're going to pick a 866 number just to make things easy and I'm going to pick one that looks uh, kind of easy to remember. Here's one, 8950776. I hit submit and the number is now registered to my account. And we'll see a couple of little things uh, appear here that don't seem to mean anything but you can see this one message says that your number is set to busy mode. And here you can see, here's your number now under the status, and it's saying that your number is in busy or night mode. And there are two modes for your number to be in, day mode or active mode, and night mode or busy mode. That way you can have your number behaving one way during business hours and another way during off hours or however you might want to define those things. Now that we've chosen a number though, you can see there's a whole lot of things here that seem a little uh, daunting at first, but don't worry. You've got your status, you've got uh, setup for different things, setting up your active mode, setting up your busy mode, your options for robo-dialing, and your options for notification, where like you're sent uh, voicemail in your email box and things, and then uh, basic account settings. And then you've got your info box down here, which is telling you how many points you have, and you've got links to some reports that can display your calls in, your calls out, and your con your other th your contact list and, and other things. Um, down here then you've got your management of your media 
your voice prompts. You can generate voice prompts using text-to-speech. You've got reports. Uh, you can choose from some different IVR applications. That's, that's uh, not necessary right now. And then help. And then there's just documentation down here on other things that will be um, ex expanded on as time goes on. Anyway, but our basic purpose here is to uh, get this number forwarded to our cell phone during the daytime and off to voicemail at night. So let's do that. We're going to start by configuring our active mode and then we're going to configure our busy mode. And then we'll be ready to go. The first thing we want to do is record our voicemail greeting. So we'll come down here to text-to-speech and we'll create one using text-to-speech. I could record an MP3 and upload it. Uh, however, it's a lot quicker to simply type what I want the message to be and uh, have the system generate it for me. Please leave a message after the tone and I will call you back. Not a very creative message, but uh, uh, we're going to choose from, uh, let's see, I'll use uh, Julie, she's got the happy voice, and I'll generate the speech. And it should go pretty quick. Come on, there it goes. See, I didn't even have to uh, edit that video. Uh, you can preview the message here. Please leave a message after the tone, and I will call you back. I actually don't know if you could hear that. I'm going to have to check the video. <laughs> now we go to our voice prompt section, which is right above the text-to-speech link, and we want to set that to be our uh, busy message. Here it is down here, and here it here I can download it, which I'm going to have to do in order to dub it in so you could hear it. Uh, I'm going to set it as my busy message and that puts it removing old greeting, outgoing message, updated by something, 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 okay, whatever. Uh, now, the, we're not, we're not going to worry about the greeting because we're not going to have a greeting. We're going to go, we're going to forward the number straight to our cell phone during the daytime, but our busy after hours message is now right here, and the original, in case we ever want to put it back, which is just a busy signal, is, is here. And see, I could restore the original over here. Uh, I can create as many prompts as I want to, and here I can set it as my greeting, I can set it as my outgoing message, that's for robocalling, or I can set it as my busy message, which is what we just did. Now I just want to add one comment here. The first time you log in, when you're a new account, you do have to do some fiddling around here in the audio section in order to kind of kick the uh, the phone system into resynchronizing or into synchronizing with your user account. Uh, we're trying to fix that, but if nothing else, just come in here and just hit the restore original buttons or whatever and it just kind of wakes up the IVR and it realizes that, that you're there. Otherwise, when you're testing, you might hear uh, sound like uh oh or this number is not allocated or whatever and so if you hear that just come here into the audio media and just do restore 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 and and everything will wake up uh, I'll remove this segment of the video when we fix that bug now the last piece of the puzzle actually telling our 800 number what we want it to do with itself so the first thing we do here is we go over to the setup box and we're going to set up active and busy so the first thing we do is we're going to set up our active settings and here's the different choices that we have. Uh, these are some um, quick uh, little forms that we can fill out. If we want to do something more complex, then we come down here and work with the IVR applications, but that's uh, more than we want to talk about right now. So I want to, right now, simply forward the number to my cell phone. So I'm going to uh, say I do not want to play a greeting first. I simply want to forward the number to my cell phone. And now the world knows what that is, and I want to record the call. That's all I want it to do. Then the next thing that I want to do is come over here and select my busy settings. And with my busy settings, I simply want to play a voicemail greeting and then take a message and the options that I have in here, I can preview my greeting if I want to. Uh, do look at the options because a couple of things are kind of important. 
If I wanted to synthesize a message on the fly, I could do that here. And there's some interesting things that you can do with that, including changing the message based on who's calling. Um, I want to notify myself by email when somebody leaves me a message. I do not want to add an extra prompt because I already say in my own prompt leave a message but you could have like a big announcement and then the extra prompt is now leave a message after the tone or whatever um, and that's just canned and you can try it out to hear what that sounds like and if I want to I could post my audio messages to my Facebook page don't do that <laughs> okay because uh, you never know what people are gonna say alright uh, apply changes and now we're ready to go. That's all we have to do. Oh no, there's one more thing we have to do. We have to tell it when we want uh, to be in active daytime mode and when we want it to be in busy or nighttime mode. We can do that manually by coming over here and just clicking on activate. And now we are in active mode, and it just reminds me now my phone number is active, and you'll see this message when you whenever you log in, it'll tell you whether you're active or busy, and it'll give you links to your, where you can change the configuration. And then I can come back here and I can change it to busy when I want to be uh, done for the day, or I don't want to take any more calls, or if I want to, I can make it happen automatically. The next segment we'll discuss that, and then we'll be done. The last thing we need to do is set up our schedule. So just click on the logo to go back to the home uh, home page, and you'll see there's a link here. Configure the active busy schedule. So let me click on here, and because I don't have any events scheduled yet, it takes me right to the uh, form to create an event, and it defaults to five o'clock. Go busy, and. Uh, this doesn't involve robocalling, so this last option doesn't matter. Um, I'm, we're just going to take that. I have to give it a name. I'm going to call this one After Hours, and I'm going to hit Submit. And now you can see I have one event in my recurring event list right here, and I have the option to delete it, but it tells After Hours Go Busy at 5 o'clock. Uh, now it's very important that you make sure that you've got the right time zone set up. That link to set your time zone is here. Uh, it says right now your current time zone is America, Denver. Oh no, we're not in Denver. We want to change our time zone. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to come down here. And the closest thing we have to Eastern time zone is New York. Click. And I'm going to hit save and then I want to go back to my scheduled events because I also want to set up when uh, when to go active so configure active busy schedule and I want to add a new schedule item click on that I'm gonna call this um, um, open for business open for business and I want to make this 9 a.m. And I just want to make it 9:05 a.m. just to give me some time to drink my coffee. I'm gonna I'm gonna go active, and I'm going to submit. And while we're in here, I'm gonna show you one more interesting thing that you can do. I'm gonna create one more scheduled item. I'm gonna call this one "Wake Up," and I want this to happen at 7 a.m. I want to call out everyone in my contact list. Uh, and I want to make sure that this happens every day. <laughs> Submit. 